Hey, what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. A game where I uh, desperately try to not kill anything or anyone while uh, trying to find my way inside of places. Uh, today we're going to try and confront our old boss, Sarif, David Sarif, to, uh, well, try and find out where those hidden augments are coming from. So, let's use the remote control and call Sarif again. Hello, Adam, David. What's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. Okay, then. Would be the first what, time you uh, lied to me. What exactly did you find? Um, Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a tight nog. It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just where did it wasn't you. come from then? It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Okay. Um, and who is the guy? Orlov sounds Russian. Who is he? Well, Why you're a really in? smart guy, aren't you? He was supposed yeah, to be a Jensen. boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post grad in the US. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. And Megan, you never used guys Megan that had the. Uh, said that? <laughs> the woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with. We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview, and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. Okay. And, uh, do you have those schematics These still? These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy. They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Okay then. Sounds like an explanation, but we gotta find this I guy. Gotta find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls. Reach out to me. Okay, Seraph that would Industries be handy. Be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. That gold suit is really disturbing. I find. Do it. Looks a bit off. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead. Why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Probably because of the bad Rescue experiences. Crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. That sounds like an interesting game. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Yeah, because maybe he can give us some more experimental orgs. Is that it? Is that it for that side quest, the mystery orgs? I'm supposing it is, because I leveled up. So let's take a look at that first. Um, so I should want to go for something useful this time. I do like the mobility the cybernetic leg prosthesis uh, provides. So I'm going to go with that for now. Because the high jumping will be uh, beneficial, I hope. Let's see about this. Because I can activate the heavy lifting and the punching through walls just with one practice point so that might be another one to invest in but right now we're gonna head outside i think i'm quickly gonna check out if i have some stun gun ammo in this god damn it these cases typhoon ammo could use that when I activate the Typhoon, but I don't think I have it active right now. Or do I? No, I don't. There it is. So I need two practice points for that as well. 
So let's head back outside and then we're gonna check the quest log as well. Cause I'm wondering if that just, yeah, that moved it out of my quest log. So we confronted Seraph. But he uh, needs some time to make some phone calls. Maybe if I go back downstairs, he'll contact me. Otherwise, I'm going to try and uh, start off that mission to... Well, allow me to use my experimental orbs without Sorry, the need of removing something. And I might as well do some exploring as well. Huh. Where are we now? So this is closed off. This is, just, this is just a stairwell, so maybe I can find my way into someone's apartment. Oh shit, that might have not been such a great idea. But things need to change around here. I got the connections now. I got to the valleys. <laughs> With that kind of muscle, I can expand this whole operation. Okay. Only deal the valleys in for twenty. That's it. Twenty percent guarantees me on his ego to drug all across Europe. Twenty percent is nothing for that kind of reach. Huh? I'm bringing the valleys, so I take fifty percent of what's left. It's only fair. Look, I am bringing the fucking the valleys to the table. I deserve a fucking bigger piece. So he's negotiating with someone, but I'm scared to uh, cut them off in his conversation. Oh shit, where is he going? Is he just standing next to something? So there's another guy. Who is that? Who's the guy watching the television? Oh, he's asleep on the bed, so let's drag him out of here. Let's drag him back inside of here. Come over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that was interesting. Sadly, didn't give me uh, any leads to another side quest, which I wanted to expect, but. The impact of the AUG incident is still being felt. Two Bunk. Years after the fact, the fear, the hatred, the violence. Old man's prestige. Well, thank you for that. Let's take a look around here. I'm gonna take his 10 millimeter pistol. There's a note. Oh, for fuck's sake! Too many items. There's a note here. From Andreas Jedinak to Bum Bum. Trust. I keep hearing rumors that something is wrong. Someone's dealing neon behind our backs. So I think that's the drug they were talking about. You think it could be Ivan? I never trusted this guy. I changed the password to our computer just in case. The password is now Dobra Nok. If you want me to do something about Ivan, just give the word Andreas. Okay. Interesting. So there's a guitar here. Maybe take a fancier look around here. Nothing. That's probably that drug I might suppose anything I can open it doesn't look like it I can turn on the stove as always but I can't even open any of the cupboards credit chip credit chip okay Okay then, she doesn't care that I'm here. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Welsh whiskey! More whiskey! Okay, can I open any of those doors actually? There's another vent here, but it's closed off apparently. And... More beer, a washer and a dryer, and that's about it. Can't do anything else. Maybe I'll go back into the... You know what? I'm gonna take the window. And then we'll head towards our next objective. 
So let's see. I still have the side mission to get that neuro whatever thingy. Neuroplasticity calibrator. So let's try that on for size. Side mission four apparently. I do need to be somewhere else for that, so uh, I'll see you guys in a second. So we're in yet another part of the city. I'm gonna take a look where we need to be, and there'll probably be a restricted area, if I had to guess. Okay, it's not an issue. I can jump out over that right now. It's supposed to be in here. Okay. That looked like carpet down there. Yeah, that's carpet down there. Someone living here in the sewers. I'm starting to see a red on the map. So that's probably not good. Although it seems okay for now. Huh. Is this some sort of casino? Like I'm always telling you, Hello. People in all country are more genuine. They treat each other with respect. Oh, that's Mr. B. If a man has something to say, the man from the email. To your face, politely. That is what. Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Okay. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vanna. Are you? You're no. Right, We're here I to am talk. Mr. Botcovelli. Yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Uh, myself. Uh, no. Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. I don't want any problems. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. True, but... I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Yeah, indeed. Good. So in this case, oh shit, name it. that's no really about Omega. Me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. Omega Beta. Uh, so this is the the effect of the social enhancer. Honorable, proud, circumspect. Insists on principled behavior. Demonstrate similar standards. Gets aggressive when insulted. Be respectful without patronizing. Keeps most thoughts and feelings to himself. Proceed cautiously. So, uh, compliment would be, uh, well, bad. Straight talk would be fine and dodge is, of course, probably insulting. So let's straight talk. I'm with Interpol, but I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohler. <laughs> Vano, look. The only honest policeman in Oh, look the at that. Our uh, response level is in the green. Kohler Supposing that's good. Very much to send there goes like Alpha. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, he cannot have the calibrator and you can't either. Okay, and why is that? Dealing with all is bad business. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. Okay. I shouldn't be respectful without patronizing. I've seen Alpha and Beta coming up right now. Um, let's go with the compliment for now. I see. You're a man of principle. A businessman who cares for the organization he's part of. But there's more to my being here than maybe you realize. Kohler is a friend, and sometimes helping out a friend in need is good business. <laughs> you see that? Uh oh, it's going this down. This is what I am always talking about: loyalty. Is it so going down or up? Okay, that's French going up. Beta. How far are you Omega. Going to go to help out a friend in need. Hmm. So, let's be straight. If someone needs my help, I give it. Any way I can. If someone needs my help, I give it. Any way I can. <laughs> okay, it goes to green. It is like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will 
that you have the calibrator. Oh, yeah. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man, Lalo. Even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? Maybe give him a task, probably. A favor. Of course. What kind of favor? Uh, don't worry. I'll find we'll better. Let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> what do you say? Do we have a deal, Mister? Well, uh, accept, I suppose. Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. Upstairs, in my office, you will find Collar's Calibrator. I will be in touch. Okay, that turned out okay. So I got the Calibrator without any problem. Silver Tongue Honor holds us all together. That was great. That was actually really cool. And now I can access the entirety of this area as well. Even going to the toilet, if I want to. A bit of privacy. And painkillers. Huh. Okay. Um, so now I need to return to Kohler, probably. And I can apparently do so through the front door. All these advantages in having a good, nice conversation. Oh, there it is. Neuroplasticity Calibrator. Alright, Kohler. I've got your Neuroplasticity Calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? Concussion grenade. I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. Okay, so I can't do so yet. So that's actually two uh, side quests completed already. I'm gonna have to go back outside. And, uh, oh look, ebook. Maybe I'll read that first. Family values. Times have changed since our late and loyal brother Levan led the Diwali's. When we returned home to Georgia ten years ago to support our brothers in the homeland, many feared things would not be the same. Levan himself knew this, which is why he chose a strong leader to stay behind here in Prague, Patarava. Times were hard then and they are harder still today. Four years after being chosen, Patarava died and I was named to replace him. As the officially appointed head of the family, I do what I need to ensure the Diwali organization succeeds. The world will not slow for the weak. Now I hear some spit and complaints that we're losing our way, that we forget who we are in this world. To those who say this, I urge you to speak with me personally and I'll happily re-educate you on the harshness of life outside our family walls. Our brothers in Georgia know the truth, forced as they are to leave their homes to be strong in the face of change. Those displaced Georgians, regardless of voice, share the same blood as us, and we welcome them. Radic Nikoladze, April 2025. Friends so and favors are important to have. Okay. Better to use, even. I'm gonna assume I shouldn't be uh, taking items from this place. What is this? Ooh. Oh, that's probably another way to enter this place. Because we can smash that wall open, probably. And I'm gonna open the lockers here. Another piece of hacking software. And then this. A combat rifle. Huh. I'm gonna pick that up for now, because that's, I think, the first combat rifle we found. You have orders. Okay, so let's head back uh, downstairs. And I'm wondering what they're doing here, because it's a casino, but there's a camera here for some reason. Ooh. Explorer! No uh, 200 extra experience points. Where does this lead? Oh, to do the other side of the room. Great. Uh, nothing in here. Ooh. Another weapons briefcase. Thank you. Tranquilizer rifle. Ooh. Ammo. Great. It pays off to look around a bit because that was really interesting. So uh, the other thing we can do before we head towards uh, Task Force 29 to continue uh, along the main quest. I have these points of interest that I can check out and I'm going to do one uh, right now. So give me a second to head over there and I'll see you guys right there. 
So we're back at the area close to my apartment building, surrounding my apartment building. And this point of interest actually points towards, uh, well, the information dealer got us a hint that we might find some useful equipment down this alleyway. And I think it's very close to, yeah, the toy store over there where we uh, found Milena, the forgery artist. So let's head into this place. And let's close the door. Um, and then we... Oh! Shit, that doesn't look good. That doesn't seem to help. But maybe... I could use... Can I open this? Structural weakness. But I don't have a praxis point yet, so I can't even strike through this. Huh. But maybe if I'm smart enough, if I can drop that in there, if I find a few more objects, I'll probably be able to cross, right? Oh, no. Nope, that's not a good idea. Can't use objects, and that's probably something I need to hack. Um... Wait a second, I have that multi-tool, right? How do I use that? Okay. Can't seem to be using that, and I'm not strong enough to carry this thing. So I'm not gonna be able to do anything here, I think. Because this is also too heavy. Hmm. There's probably no way in then. Too bad. Too bad. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the stun gun. And put it away. I'm gonna go check out the other point of interest then. Shots fired. So there was a rumor of gunfire nearby. So I'm gonna take a look at that first since we need one more practice point to open up that area up there okay I can get up there there we go and then towards this place And then here. Ooh. This looks uh, bad. I wonder what happened here. Let's take a look around. More wine. Th whatever that was. Ooh, a bio cell. And a pool of blood. It's not really great, is it? Um. Ah, oh, that's the lamp. I was wondering where that noise was coming from. So that's the newspaper we've seen a few times now. There's an ebook here. Augmented Artists Contemporary Art Review. International galleries have been have seen an increased demand for marginal artists, including works created by the augmented. This may seem controversial to some, but the art world has never shied from that. In fact, augmented artists may have found a powerful ally in the form of Nathaniel Brown, a name we've uh, heard before and apparently the CEO of the Santo Group. A professed art connoisseur, Brown has already undertaken to open an impressive art gallery in Rabia, the uh, augmented city that he created probably. He also plans to offer grants specifically to augmented artists to come and live and work in his desert oasis. I think the augmented, due to their particular nature and the nature of their enhancements, create art differently, says Brown. They may well influence a whole new movement and I encourage other patrons of the arts in Rabia and elsewhere to embrace these artists. The fact remains that for now augmented artists remain at the fringe and that getting to Rabia to enjoy what seems to be an enviable artistic freedom may be well beyond most. Well that's really sad for those people then. Uh, anything else I can find here? There's a computer. Um... 
can throw paint buckets around and there's a vent here as well so I'm gonna check that in a second but let's first check out the computer then how high is the encryption security rating one so let's hack uh, it's not that much of a stretch and it takes a while for the uh, ooh, for the protection to get here so let's see, we have 45 over there, we have 45 in every direction. So I could start up this one first and head towards the clearance as well. So that's good, nothing triggered yet. Let's activate. Anomaly oh shit. Trace program initiated. So we're fast enough, I think. Access there we go. Granted. Okay, so we could have stopped that with a worm, but I'm gonna save those for later. From Peter Volen to Helena Volen. Lena, I spoke with the bank and they're expecting you. I already signed so you can just remove all the money and close the account. Try not to worry, I share your concerns, but what choice do we have? Without a permit we're going nowhere and we're not getting one from the government. They've made that clear enough. When we were young, we used to go to concerts and pay the scalpers twice, sometimes three times the original ticket price. This is the same thing. When we get to Rabia, we can worry about the next steps and use the other half of the money. That young girl may have made us feel like beggars when she was explaining the cost, but a loan from Santo might be the only way. I know it was heartbreaking for you to part with some of the things we had to sell, but we still have our work and the promise of a better life to look forward to. This will be worth it, I promise you. I'll see you at home later this evening. Take care, Peter. Uh, that clearly went wrong. Your payment with many thanks from Jacob Zambon. Helena and Petter. Of Peter. Or Peter. I wanted to let you know personally that the money has been transferred to your account and express m my appreciation another time for the wonderful work of art you have brought into this world. I cannot wait to see how it looks on the walls of my new home in Rabia. It may not be my place to tell you what to do with the money you have just received, but if you have time for the, uh, for the opinion of a patron, I would like to recommend that you consider going to Rabia yourself. I've watched Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown more than once on television speaking of how the city will provide a haven for augmented people to be able to express themselves without fear of public opinion. Artists such as yourself would thrive there, I'm sure. The cost is significant, but certainly worth it to be out of Prague. Imagine walking the streets, a warm sun upon every augmented head, surrounded by our kind and never having to worry about bigots or violence. If Brown is right, then I can only imagine opportunities galore for you both. Every new city, attempting to make its mark in the world, must encourage great art, especially one as remarkable as Rubia. Whatever your decision, I wish you both the very best and hope someday to see you again. Good luck in your endeavors and farewell. Yours sincerely, Jacob Zambon. So uh, that's the guy that probably bought some, uh, excuse me, pieces of art and that money they used to uh, get to Rabia. But that doesn't explain where the blood came from. So I'm wondering what that is all about. Can move a few of these things around. There's a closet over here with a hydraulic micro pump and crafting parts. I have 150 crafting parts right now, so I can actually use that for something. Uh, Interesting, so I'm gonna take a look a closer look around because there's Obviously more to this place than what I'm seeing at a first glance So crafting parts There might be more Although I don't immediately see any No, okay, so let's head through the vent That goes down Where are we now? Hello? Maybe somebody escaped through here? There's a pocket secretary here. Lena, that's from Helena. Lena, be calm. I'm from Peter, her brother. I'll be home soon. Hide what we agreed behind the wall. And let me do the talking when they arrive tonight. They're just tugs, but surely any money is better than nothing. We'll have our permits soon. And the first mail was from Helena herself. Peter, this is the message she sent below. What should we do? They're not giving up. We can't afford to spend everything we have. This was a stupid idea, Peter. We are 
What, what are we going to do? These men are dangerous. I can't believe we're living like this. And the original email, a deal is a deal. Permits don't come cheap for a reason, so the price is what it is. The gov isn't going to look well on me helping people like you get out of Prague. So I make sure it's, it's worth our time to give you a happy ending. Well, be there as agreed, so make sure you have the money, all of it. Pleasure doing business with you. And I don't know where that came from, but that could have been from that uh, forgery ring. So there's a case here with their money. So they probably killed her, but what happened with the body then? What happened with the body? Where did we came from? Oh, there we go. Because there's no body to be found here. Can't open the door. Okay, that's weird. Nobody outside? Somebody dropped down? Doesn't look like it. And right above that fake police checkpoint as well. So that might have uh, caused all of this. So let's go back down. And I'm going to try and get out through here. Because there's another vent over here. And we're back on the rooftops. Oh, we're in the we're near the bookshop, shop, the time machine. Look at that. Interesting, but I don't see a body, so one of them must have been taken out at least. Sadly, but uh, nothing we can do about that anymore. So I'm gonna take uh, a little break, and after when I'm back from that, we'll uh, go back to uh, Task Force 29 and continue the main quest. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel where you will find uh, more of these kinds of series. So thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye. Next time on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Man, look at this place. It's pretty. It's good to see you're okay. It's good to see you too. Hey. Jensen. I need to see you now. Okay, sir.